Hello, this is uh, Kevin with SharePoint Training Videos. I'm going to show you today how to integrate SharePoint Training Videos libraries for end users and also for administrators. I'm just going to show you for end users though right now how to integrate those libraries within SharePoint so that your end users can easily access the, the how-to libraries and see how they can work for themselves. Um, the end result is going to look pretty much exactly like what you see on the screen. Obviously, if your skin is different, it's going to look like your skin. You know, so if you have a different color skin or whatnot, it'll you know it'll maintain that. Um, so here's how it is. So the first things that you see on the screen, I'm going to point them out, is a header section. This is pretty much a section that you can modify with any kind of message that you want to uh, present to your end users. Okay, totally customizable. You could write whatever you want there. Here is your left navigation. The end users can navigate um, whether you know videos and tutorials based on uh, some basic um, SharePoint videos or um, more videos here geared to the power users. Okay. And they simply all they have to do is really click on um, one of those links and it will begin a tutorial of that content. They can fast forward, they can increase the volume, do whatever they need to do. Okay, so how do we integrate all that into your portal? Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a site. I'm going to actually go up to my root and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a site okay where we're gonna host this library so I'm gonna say site actions create a site okay so I'm gonna give my site a name I'm gonna call it end user training and user training probably put the spaces in there and under template selection I recommend two templates to use for the integration process um, the first template is the blank site template under collaboration tab or under the publishing tab the publishing site template for now, I'm going to just go ahead and click and pick the blank site template and hit on create. And here is our site. Right now, we have a blank site. First thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the left navigation and this icon right here. Okay. Now, the web parts that you're going to be provided with will do just that. They will get rid of the left navigation this we can just delete on the site so let's go ahead and do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the three web parts on the page edit page add a web part advanced web part gallery and options browse import browse this will allow me to browse the web parts from my hard drive. The first one I'm going to drop is the hide left navigation web part. Open. Upload. Now we see it here. I can drag it and drop it right onto the page. Now notice I haven't dropped it yet. The minute I drop it, the left navigation is going to disappear. So let's take a look. Drop it. Left navigation is gone. Great. That gives, me, that gives me more real estate to work with. I'm going to go ahead and delete the site image because we don't really need that. Delete that. And then I got two more web parts to add, so I'm going to browse for the second one, which is I'm going to browse the SharePoint Training Videos end user library web part. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and upload it, drop it on the page, and I'm going to browse for 
the custom header web part. Open it, upload it, drag it and drop it right onto the page. I'm going to put this one above my library so the message appears before the actual library. And we should be good to go. Let's take a look. Here we go. So uh, that was it. Users can now go through the uh, library. They can pick their modules and their tutorials, and they're good to go. The one thing you may want to consider doing before you actually uh, uh, provide the link to your users is changing maybe the message at the top here. So how do we change the message? OK. I'm going to click on Site Actions, Edit Page, Edit. Notice here I'm selecting the edit for that custom header web part. Um, modify shared web parts. And then scroll to the right just because it, it didn't really show properly there. And then select rich text editor. And then you can make the changes to the message here. You could delete. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And really just type in whatever you want. You could even put images or instructions or links. And then you're good to go. Click OK. Exit edit mode. We're good to go.